What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and we're going to be talking about a few things today. Number one, you guys should already be in, you know, proper position to get that free player, that 95 overall that goes into the set to get that Steve Young. But we're going to talk about a couple things. The Mel Renfro, uh, some of you guys were asking if it's worth it. I always want to start off. Madden Ultimate Team has become all about theme teams. You will run into a team that has all of like whatever chemistry, 50 or 50, and EA allows them to play OP. I have, listen, I guess it's a benefit for running around with the, you know, the same number of players, but if you have a Cowboys theme team or whatever, I don't know who this guy, you know, who else he played for. Many of you guys know a lot more about the teams that these guys play for than I do. I don't know. But if you have a theme team and that player makes sense for you, I need you to do that. All right, because I want your team to be better. But if that dude is not part of your theme team, that dude garbage, bro. Like, that's how you got to look at it. All right, so look, let's go ahead. We're going to talk about this real quick. Um, as far as the um, the Steve Young, like I said, you get a nat 95 overall with the Super Bowl tickets. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now because some of you guys were asking about it. And shout out to all of you guys that told me that I forgot to talk about it in the first video about uh, doing it daily because the house rules reset daily. This community is the best community about Madden on YouTube or you know Twitch, Global, whatever, because it's the people that make it up. You guys come in and you're like, yo, Jemaya, what about this? What about that? And I get to see it or it's, you know, it's shown to me. And I'm like, wow, these dudes really care about the community. So for all of you guys that commented and let me know that, you know, that was overlooked. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you very much. Um, what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be taking a look at, I got this for my first house rules. All right. So I didn't do any of the, uh, of the missions or the challenges yet. So at this point, you should be able to get this for free. Uh, the 95 overall Super Bowl pass hero, uh, Sonny Michelle, Adam, or Clay Matthews, and complete that, um, you know, that Steve Young by getting all of them in the set. You probably could go ahead and get the other two. Um, you can save the Super Bowl tickets for things that are coming later if you have been resetting it and doing it every single day. Um, that's also something that you can do. Um, it's something that, you know, as they continue to drop these limiteds and a lot of other things that are gonna be coming, maybe it'll help you a lot more if you just hold on to the tickets. But for me, I got to go check to see what, um, you know, Steve Young is actually going for right now. So let's go ahead. Like I told you guys, I haven't done any of them yet. All right. I have to get a chance to sit down, relax and get them all done. So pretty much with the milestones right now, we can get the first two. We could get another one from House Rules today and then we'll have um, the four Super Bowl tickets and be able to unlock that or we can save it. It's up to you. All right. So at this time, currently, you still only can get 76, but many of you guys probably already have five. All right, because um, if you would have had the second one from the day before and um, got two already and then you got, you know, this day's house rules, you should have five as of today. If you've already used it to go ahead and get that Steve Young and it's benefited you by either, you know, selling him back and getting the training, you won. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. I, I think I have to keep reminding you guys, oh, but I could have did this, I could have did that. It doesn't matter. If it makes sense for you to go ahead and get those coins, get the coins now because they're not always gonna be there with the way the market actually, you know, continues to maneuver itself and things just don't, they're not worth anything. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna take a look at a few things real quick. Um, uh, Renfro being the number one thing right now because you guys should at this point know how to get your free player. So let's focus on Renfro and if he's gonna be a guy that anybody should actually have on their squad. Let's go ahead and check it out. Also, should you buy packs for this guy? Look, dog, it's it's up to you. Hunter Renfro, that, you, you guys know that the Renfro we looking for. Like, oh, let's go to team, let's go to Cowboys real quick, and let's do it like that. All right, so Mel Renfro, what the? Oh, because he was a theme diamond. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so there goes the limited. Uh, he's at 982.5. Now for me, I don't think any corner is worth that that doesn't have a 99 speed and a 99 acceleration, namely because Deion Sanders is the GOAT. You could get goat, you could get the GOAT uh, Sanders for like 400K and change, right? He gets chemmed up to about a 99 speed, 99 excel. All right, now, when you look at some of his other things, all right, he has a 95 zone, which is going to easily go to 99 zone coverage, right? He's going to go to a 94 plus, if you have a theme team, 98 speed. So he'll go 94 plus the three plus the additional one for any theme team. So he can actually go to a 98 speed. So if you are a cowboy theme team, you have just done some really disgusting stuff inside of your pants because this guy can be a monster. 98 speed is really, really good, guys. So obviously it would be something uh, to work with, especially that 99 zone. Now, for me, Deion Sanders plays out of his mind, even though that 92 zone goes to about 95 with John Madden coach and lockdown, he plays out of his mind. Would this card be worth it 
if you pulled him to keep him, I really have to think about it and just say, you know, right now I would probably say no because I would take the mill and see what else was coming. You know what I'm talking about? Because this is a, it's gonna be in three phases. So they're just getting started with limiteds and all of these other things that are actually going on. So I don't know if it's the smartest thing to do to go ahead and say, you know what, go get him, go get Mel Renfro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. So it, it's gonna be ultimately up to you because I'm giving you guys all the insight. That zone coverage can mean something. And in certain cases, it, it can mean nothing. We, we, bro, we're playing Madden 20. Like, I'm not gonna sit up here and act like he's gonna defend everything because he has a 99 zone. We've all seen the ball go through your helmet, right through your face, and it's a dot. And then the guy pauses the game and acts like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, these dudes, Madden 20 has turned people, like regular guys into, you know, Madden pros that, and they think they're really good. So I don't know if this is gonna give you everything that you ultimately want. And that's all I really care about is you guys getting what you want out of the game. So if you have a theme team, 98 speed, 99 zone. I don't see how you can get better than that. Obviously he's gonna get to a 99 uh, overall if you're able to do all that stuff and you got all the chems. So it could be something that you add to your squad to make it, you know, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like it could look solid, but even when I look at Rod Woodson, like Rod Woodson plays out of his mind and he only has 91 zone. This dude will pick you, yo, he'll pick you off pick your moms up, don't take her out to dinner, hit her with the Mickey D's, and then drop her off up the block accidentally by telling the Uber the wrong address. He's really, really good. Now look, I play him at safety sometimes because it depends on if somebody's killing me with the run. I might have to put Ronnie Lott at corner uh, to kind of get those sheds and come in and the hit stick people, but he's a really good corner. And he only goes to, what is that? He goes to like, is it 97 speed for me? Because he, he has to add the sprinter um, sprinter John Madden coach and um, the plus one for the 49ers. So I think he goes to 97 speed. So there are other options. If you're not looking to, you know, get crazy with it, uh, should you pull packs for this? That is something that you're gonna have to, you know, figure out because like I said, I, I've been playing around, you know, my wife and I've been doing pack wars. You guys have been enjoying that. Shout out to all of you guys that's been dropping likes, man. It's really appreciated. But again, I don't wanna spend money unless it's something that I really, really want. So. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you guys some comparisons to kind of understand what's going on. Now, as far as everything that goes on, uh, obviously Deion Sanders was a cowboy. All right. I don't think, I think Rod Woodson just did the 49ers. Who, what did he do? He did 49ers and what? And the Steelers? Let me just check his teams real quick. Um, oh, he did the Raiders too. Ravens. Okay. So with him, you know, it's a different variety. But again, if you're a cowboy theme team, Deion Sanders... I guess you put Renfro on the other side with 98 speed and then you just can't get thrown on and then you just have him in a box. I guess you could do that. Is, is that what you guys may be thinking about it? But if you look at this right now with the 97 speed, you know, it looks really good to me the, the way that it is. I, I don't really, I, oh man, I, I really want to say, you know, theme team it up, theme team it up. But I don't want you guys spending so much money right now or your mutt coins right now with phase one. So, okay, this is what we're going to do, right? We're gonna have to assume, even if you have a theme team, we're gonna have to assume that his price is gonna go down. So if people are willing to spend a million coins for right now, right now, I don't know if it's gonna stay at a million coins. Um, if you pull it, if I pulled it, I would sell it, but I have no horse in the race on this one because I don't have a, a Cowboys theme team. If you pulled it and you're like, yo, Jimai, should I sell it? My honest opinion would be to sell it. And if you don't have Deion Sanders already, I would go after Deion Sanders and uh, you know, chem him up to a 99 speed, 99 Excel, get somebody else temporarily and just wait until the price comes down. Because everything right now with the way it looks, it just feels like we're gonna get something really, really OP. And then if you're one of those guys that just don't have the currency because you have that card and you didn't get the max for it, because probably by the end of the day, it'll be around the 800s. You know what I'm saying? Because people, I don't know, man. I don't, I just don't, I, I don't, I don't like it because it's not a universal card you could put it with any team. He, he would have to be solely on a Cowboys theme team if that's the team he played for because they start his starting speed off so low. So that's an issue for me. So I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to hide that from you guys. Like, yo, bro, you know, it's going to be sick. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys ever. It doesn't make any sense to do that. Like, why, why would I do that? So we're going to have to make the most logical decision. And I believe you should sell him. All right. Now we can go right now and look at Cowboy Corners but they're not gonna show up every, they're not gonna show everybody that played for the Cowboys. So that's gonna be more technical. You're gonna have to figure out if there's anybody else that you can use temporarily, or if you want to just keep them. 
if that's I, look, if that's what you want and you're happy with that, remember remember the rule from Jemaya's world. I just want you guys to be happy with your team. So if that's something that's gonna make you happy right now, even though I don't agree with you, if you pull it to not sell it right now for the highest amount and get it back later, that's fine. You're a diehard a diehard Cowboys fan. You go for it. That's it. We're all good. All right. But again. I would be I would be very very careful with it now as far as Steve Young let's go check what's going on because we're gonna be able to get our free player very very soon so we might as well take a look at what he's selling for right now and try to figure it out like should we go for this guy is he garbage like what's happening I've played against them several times I'm gonna be tweeting out some footage of Steve Young that I played against with some of the wild things that he was doing do I think he's worth the money no I do not if you and I have a 25 or 50 49 er theme team I don't think he's worth the coins, whatever he's going for. I don't think I don't think EA did a good job with his attributes. Look at that. Yesterday he was at 400 and change. Now he's down to 333. So with that 95 overall player, realistically speaking, it like you're gonna probably have to wait to use that someplace else. Because think about it. If you gotta spend another 200, well, it depends. That's 333. He's at. Hold on. Let me let me make sure before I say that. Let me go. We'll go to the set and then we'll check the prices of the other cards. Before I even say anything to you guys about, you know, is it gonna be worth it? Because you do get back the Nats as training. Remember that. Or we could hold these Super Bowl tickets and wait for the next thing. So let me go over to his master uh, set real quick. Hold up. Super Bowl master set. We're gonna see what are these guys' prices looking like. Okay, so let's just say we get whatever. Let's see how much these guys are going for. All right, 214. So it's gonna be about 400, right? It'll cost you about 400K if we get two of these for 200k and change all right so that all right and he'll sell for 333 so for 70k you would get back like 40k training because you would quick sell the nets you see what i'm saying after you completed the set you would sell him it'll cost you about 30 uh no no 70 and then you would get back about 40,000 training when you quick sell the nets is that good yeah because with me i would be at about like, like about 74 76 000 training and i'll be able to play around with stuff inside the store so it would be worth it for me for you guys though, I'm not too sure. That's what the issue is for me. Is it gonna be worth it for you? You see what I'm saying? Like we're gonna have to figure it out. Maybe we could get lucky and we'll pull one of those uh, 95 overalls, but we know for certain that we're gonna get some through the Super Bowl tickets. Now, again, if you wanna wait for the future ones and just say, you know what, g -Mai? I'm gonna wait, bro. Like I'm not even gonna go with the Steve Young. That's another option. It's coming soon throughout the next week because it's three phases. If you wanna do that, it's a gamble because remember, you can always go inside the store and play around with what's in the store also. You see what I'm saying? Using the training that you would get from Steve Young and still on top of everything else, make currency, you know, you can make coins. So you can come in here and you can start buying things up with the currency that you make. You know, you could, you know, play around with a team of the year if you wanted to. I don't really like that pack. 39,000 is way too much. I don't like that. I really don't. So I'm not even gonna, you know, like, like looking at that, that's just, that's bad because the prices of those cards are so cheap. That, that's a useless um, training scenario. I would much rather gamble with this one and see if we pull the 95, to be honest, because this is just useless to me, um, you know, as far as like gambling with the training, but you will have a decent amount. And remember, it's just getting started. So with two more phases, you could theoretically hold on to those tickets. I myself, for 70K to make like around 40K training, it's like 37 and change. Should I gamble with it now and just know that I have an, you know, an advantage or do they release something way better than Steve Young and then we have the tickets later? I'm going to go based on you guys' feedback. I'll wait for you guys to respond and let me know what you think. Should we save the tickets or should we just go ahead and trade it in now, use the 70K for what, you know, we'll get, we'll lose 70K, but that 70K would be converted into about 40K training by quick selling the Nets. It's up to you guys. Let me know. I'll do a little bit more research to kind of figure what's actually going to happen. I do think they're going to give us something good at least at some point uh, in the promo. So maybe we use those tickets later. But again, if you've already used it, you haven't done anything wrong, bro. Like, listen, you went for it. On this channel, we go for it. That's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you have an unbelievable day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.